The cruciate ligaments are a pair of strong ligaments that help hold our knee joint together. Now, people often get confused about where they are, or which one does what, so I'd like to run through a quick drawing that helps me remember. First, I'm going to draw the knee in the anatomical position. I have the anterior aspect here, the posterior aspect here, and I'll be drawing a lateral view of the joint. First, I'll add the bones, the femur with its condyles here, and the flattened tibia below. The cruciate ligaments pass between these bones and are named after their attachment to the tibia. So the anterior cruciate ligament starts at the anterior aspect of the tibia and passes to the posterior femur. The posterior cruciate travels in the opposite direction, starting on the posterior tibia and heading anteriorly. Now this drawing is really simple, but if you can remember all of these elements, then you have a fantastic tool to help you remember the function of these ligaments or even work out which one's been injured. How? Well, let's imagine a clinical scenario. Here we have Rob, a football player for the Norfolk Partridges, and during a game against the Essex Joeys, an opposing defender tackled him, driving their shoulder into the thigh of his stance leg. Rob comes to you with severe pain and instability in his knee. The suspicion is that he's torn a cruciate ligament. The question is which one? Well, here we can use our drawing to help us work it out. We'll start as before by drawing out the bones. But to do that, we need to work out how they've changed position in the scenario. The foot and leg were planted on the ground, so the tibia will be in the same position as before. But as the defender hit his thigh, the femur was driven backwards, so we need to shift this posteriorly. Now we can add our cruciate ligaments just as before, only this time we're trying to work out which ligament has been stretched and potentially damaged. If a ligament is stretched by a movement, its normal function is to resist that movement. But if it's stretched too far or too forcefully, then it can tear. Remember, these ligaments are named after their tibial attachment, so the ACL will be here, and the PCL will run here. Now, if all done well, it should be clear which ligament has been stretched and damaged. In this case, the ACL. We can also see that posterior displacement of the femur isn't the only way to damage the ACL. Anterior displacement of the tibia will also move those attachments apart, potentially damaging the ligament. The PCL resists the opposite movement, and is normally damaged by anterior movement of the femur or posterior displacement of the tibia. So, that's how I remember the function of the cruciate ligament and how they can be damaged. If you ever get a cruciate question and you're not sure, just try drawing this out. Remember these three steps? First off, identify your bones, how have they moved apart, how have they changed position. Next, add your cruciate ligament, remembering that they're named after their attachment to the tibia. And then finally, see which ligament is being stretched and potentially damaged.